Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can manually install SMB Sync 2 on your Android phone. Well, I made a video here, how you can synchronize photos and videos from your Android device to a local SMB network share without using cloud services. In this video, as I told you before, we used the app SMB Sync 2, which is available in the Play Store. However, if you have a newer Android version like Android 13, then you might end up in the Play Store telling you that this application is not available for your device. Well, it turns out that the application works fine on newer Android devices with Android 13, but um, I think the developer just didn't mark the application as compatible in the Play Store, so you are not able to install the application. If you have already installed the application, you can continue to use it. So on my phone, it has Android 13. The application works perfectly. So in this video, we will go through the process how to install the APK version manually on your phone. Everything I describe here in this video is also available in this blog post. Just click the link below in the video description. Okay, let's get started. Well, here I'm connected to my phone and in order to install SMB uh, Sync 2 to my Android phone, we open the Chrome browser and then we search the web and enter SMB Sync 2 GitHub. Hit enter and this will bring us to the GitHub page of the project. SMB Sync 2 is an open source application and is available as well on the Play Store as on the GitHub page. So on the GitHub page, we can scroll down here until we get to download. Here's a download link. Just click the download link on your phone. And then we go down here and we find the recent, the most recent version here and also the APK file. We click on the APK file and we now have to um, hit the download button to download the button here. In my case, it says download again because I have downloaded the file already. Hit download, then the file is will be downloaded to your phone. And now we click open. And once we have this done, we cannot open the application because uh, there are security issues here uh, because my phone isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. So in order to install the application, we have to go to the settings here and allow Chrome to install unknown apps. Once we have done that, we are now able to install the application. It will take a few moments and after that, the application is installed and can be used on your phone. And the only difference uh, between the Play Store version and the manually installed version is that uh, you will not receive updates from the Play Store for this application. But this, uh, the application works fine on your Android versions and you now can use the application. Here it is. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.